you looking to adopt your very own rock pet and be able to keep it forever? I have designed a super cute kawaii rock pet backpack and it's available right now. All of the links will be listed in the description. Make sure to use star code Kristen when buying Robux or premium. Hey everyone, it's Kristen and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. So for today's video, you guys, I am going to help you guys. So if you have been having issues finding any of the plushies, up till today in Livetopia, I'm actually going to show you guys how to find every single plushie. Now, this video is recorded on January 19th, 2022. So, these are only going to show the plushies that we have so far up until today's date. Now, you guys know, make sure you have notifications on because anytime we get new ones, I will be making sure that you guys know those locations. You guys are also going to know some outfit changes throughout the video because some of these are older videos example when I had no face for Halloween so how this is gonna work you guys if we go over to our collections and we see the plushies I'm actually gonna be starting from the very first one and then two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so I am gonna be working my way from the top which is number one all the way to the bottom which is number 15 now this plushie here, which is actually the first one on the list, Lifetopia gave us this one as a starter when collections came out. So we're not really gonna need to find this one. But of course, with all of that said, make sure to give today's video a very big thumbs up if you wanna see more full guides and tutorials. And with all of that said, let's go ahead and just get started. So first one that we do have is super adorable. For the second plush, you guys, we're actually going to be heading over into the church, click on the flowers, and go down into the sewers. Then we're going to go over to where the fire is, and you can already see the ears behind the log. And there we have unlocked the next item in our collection. So we can go over and we have just found the blue plushie. We're actually going to go over into the veterinarian hospital and we're going to go into the back room and all the way to the back we can find the shelf and there is the last plushie. So bear number four which is the gold one was actually added in an updated home that we already had in Livetopia. So go upstairs to the safe and click all of the squares until every one of them glow and the door to the safe will open and you will find the gold bear behind the gold bars. Okay, so bear number five, which is the blue one, was actually once again added in an updated home that we already have. So what you're going to want to do is go to the fountain that is outside and find the flowers. Then we're going to take them inside, go out to the balcony, and place them in the flower pot. Then it's going to actually open up the portal, which we can go ahead, go through, and it takes us to our interior park. And you are going to find that blue bear by the bench behind the bushes. Okay, so for the next four, they are for the Halloween plushies. Now, these ones, unfortunately, you are only going to be able to get if you do have the Halloween Game Pass because you are going to need that to head to the Dark Forest. So I will show you guys if you do have that pass. We are going to go over and head to the Misty Forest Station. Okay, so once we get to the station, you can see the little crackling of the campfire over here. So we're actually going to head over to the campfire. Okay, so we're almost there. Now, once we get to the campfire, this is where we are going to be able to teleport over to the dark forest. So you can't see this little podium that has this spell book, and you can't see the ghosts that are coming up through. If we click on this, it will actually take us to the dark forest. All right, you guys. So first thing we are going to do is equip the moped and also turn on the radar. So we're actually going to go ahead and find the maze. All right, you guys. So in order to find the maze, all you need to do is look for the glowing tree, which you guys, I kind of think the glowing tree holds some secrets as well. But we're actually going to go across the bridge and then you will actually see, ooh, we definitely need candy corn. And hopefully we'll get more of that in the maze as well. But now we can actually go over and enter into the maze. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this place looks really cool. Okay, there's nothing shining quite yet. And it looks like they got these guys are actually missing their swords. Okay. Oh gosh, I am so bad with mazes. But okay, so let's start 
whip a maze and see if we can actually track down some of these plushies. Okay, so I did find one of the new plushie locations and you will find it hidden in one of these rooms. So we're gonna go over and click and we have our very first Halloween plushie. So we can go over and there it is. Oh my gosh, that one looks so creepy. And there's even a ton of candy corn that we can get in here as well. <gasps> Ooh, is, okay, wait. Grim Reaper's in here and he's glowing. Okay, I might need to come back, check out Grim because he is glowing and it's definitely a little bit interesting. But let's go ahead, you guys, and see if we can track down our next plushie. Okay, so if you kind of keep going through the maze where all of the books are, you will come across our next room for the pumpkin plushie. So here is the second of four. And oh my gosh, this is actually one of my favorite ones with the pumpkin. So again, lots of candy corn that you guys will be able to get as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab all of those. Okay, so let's see if we can find the next two plushies. Okay, so next one, as you guys seen, there are tons of candles. So one of the things that I have noticed with the maze to make it a little bit better is all of the different areas for the actual plushies are marked by either pumpkins. This one actually has candles and it is the white plushie. So there is the third plushie unlocked. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, get all of the candy corn. And if we go over to the inventory, you guys, we literally only have one more remaining. So kind of thinking the next on the list is going to be something super dark and creepy. Okay, so I'm actually gonna follow the crates and see if maybe this is going to take us to the next area. Okay, nope, that actually just took us right around to the beginning again. Okay, so we have made it to the final room. Looks like a library and it will have that final last fourth Halloween plushie of the collection. Plushie number 10 is pretty easy to find. So we're gonna load in this home right here and we're gonna go to the outside of the home where the fountain is. Look for the circle of stones that's missing one and you will find that last one behind the home in that same fountain. We're gonna bring it over and place it in to complete this circle. So just click it and it will form that full circle to open the portal. So go through the portal and it will land us in the secret lily pad room. As you step on the lily pads, they will rise up and there is plushie 10. Okay, so plushie number 11 is actually the Scarecrow Thanksgiving plushie. So we're gonna load in the Thanksgiving home and we are gonna stay outside because we're just gonna need the wood wheel. We need to go over and find the actual pattern. So we have yellow, red, blue, green, 
So we have yellow, red, blue, green. So we're gonna need to go over and actually adjust this. This is gonna take a minute. Yellow, red, and then we'll do blue, green. We'll change that one. Blue, green. So we just need to turn this one to yellow. So go ahead and jump through the portal and it'll take you to the wheat field with the scarecrow. So all you need to do is clear the wheat by stepping on it and you will find the 11th scarecrow plushie. So plushie number 12 is the royal plushie over in Camp Crescent at the Twilight Castle. So this map is a little bit older as you guys are in game now. You can actually quickly teleport there super duper easily, but it's fine. So we're going to head up to the Twilight Castle Go inside, we're gonna open these ginormous doors and head over to the check-in desk. And you are gonna see the night vision goggles. Put them on and it'll actually open a secret glowing door. So once we get inside and we turn around, you will see that royal plushie number 12 over here on the shelf with some really cool confetti going around. Next up is plushie 13, which is the Hello Kitty plushie. So we're gonna go ahead, load in this home right here that kind of looks like mountains and it's definitely an interesting shape. So first thing I want you guys to notice is the middle of the table, the paw prints have a color. So make sure you watch those paw prints. The first one's red, yellow, yellow, blue, red, blue. So that pattern you guys are seeing me add to the eyes of the chair. So you want to make sure that they are the exact same colors that we do have the red, yellow, yellow, blue, red, blue. So we have the red, yellow, yellow, and then blue, red, blue. So you're also going to need to turn around and complete this same pattern, but this one is actually going to be reversed. So it's going to be blue, red. You guys can just kind of look on the other chairs if it's easier. And then blue, yellow, yellow, red. Now, once you actually input it and turn around, the kitty on the wall will turn into a portal. So what you're going to want to do when you get to the maze is just follow the glitter. The glowing orbs will actually give you a little bit of paw print animation, but over here in the back, you guys will find the 13th plushie. So for the snowman plushie, which is number 14th, you are going to need the holiday game pass to get that igloo home. So you are going to find three planets around the home. First one you've seen outside, one on the coffee table, and one up on the balcony. So we're going to head upstairs, go through the portal that is already opened, and if you actually run through the sun, it will give you a little bit of a graphic. So first one, we're going to place the earth. The other two is the brown one and then the whiter one. I don't know exactly the planets those are, but it'll actually go ahead and open up the portal. So once we do head through the portal, it'll open this little glacier area and you can jump across and claim that 14th snowman plushie. So the final 15th plushie is going to be over in the free little igloo area. So we're going to go ahead, load this in. Now what you're going to want to do is head inside and grab the torch. There's also one in your inventory that you can use as well. And we're going to go over to the living room and light the fire. And it's actually going to melt the ice on the door, which we can go through, go over across the ice behind these little bricks. And there is your final 15th plushie. All right, you guys. Well, there is all 15 plushies that are currently in Liveopia as of January 19th, 2022. So as we get more of them, of course, I will be making the videos and do some updated guides as well. So if this video did help, make sure that you guys do share this with your friends. Give today's video a very big thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed. And hopefully I'm going to get to see you all next time. Bye, guys.